Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to um, thank Dr. Hani Hafiz and Dr. Ayman Rifai for inviting me to chair this um, conference. Uh, I will speak about the clinical audit for improving quality of care in nephrology. We cannot uh, deny that there is a medical malpractice. Many patients lost their lives or lived with disability because someone was too tired or too careless. What is the problem? The problem starts when a Florida jury awarded Alan Navarro to 260.7 million after he was left brain damaged and confined to wheelchair after doctors misdiagnosed stroke symptoms. In August 2000, Navarro went to emergency room after having symptoms indicative of a stroke. Despite telling nurses his family had a history of a stroke, the doctors diagnosed him with sinusitis and gave him a prescription of painkiller. The next day, Navarro had to undergo surgery to relieve swelling in his brain, and he spent nearly three months in coma. As a result, Navarro has a limited cognitive abilities, and he is at risk of suffocating every time he swallows food due to the damage. What is audit? My agenda, where I will talk about story, what is the definitions and the aim of clinical audits, the principle of this clinical audits, and I will referring to audit cycle, what is the criteria of effective clinical audit, and I will ask about is clinical audit can be like a research or not, what is the application of clinical audits in our field and its future perspective issues, and finally, I have a take message, home message. The first recorded medical audit in Muslim world started by when Al Khalifa Abbas Al Muqtadir was told that there is a malpractice in one patient by an Abu Batih Al Muqtasib, which he, who is a market inspector. Then the Al Khalifa Al Abbas Al Muqtadir asked Sinan Ibn Thabit who is a chief physician of Baghdad to investigate uh, about this problem. Following the investigation, the first, the first medical licensing examination has been introduced. And according to a book by Ibn al-Ukhwa, which named by Ma'alim al-Qubba fi Ahkam al-Hizba, which stated the first license in our medicine stated that if the patient is cured, the vision is paid. So, what is the clinical auditing? Audit is a Latin word transferred to the English vocabulary audit, which means an official inspection of an organization accounts, typically by an independent body. It is a part of a continuous quality improvement process and consisting in measuring a clinical outcome or a process against well-defined standards established using the principle of evidence-based medicine. According to NICE, uh, audit means a quality of improvement process that seeks to improve patient care and outcomes through a systematic review of care against explicit criteria and implementation change to improve our practice. Is there a difference between clinical audits and medical audits? Yes. Medical audits is a review of a clinical care of patients given by medical staff, while clinical audit is a review of all medical activities performed by medical and paramedical staff. The clinical audit, the aim of the clinical audit is to highlight the discrepancies between actual practice and the standards in order to identify the changes needed to improve quality of care. 
to reach the, our goal or benefit of clinical audit, we must have improved the delivery of the health care and highlight deficiencies to highlight good practices to patient and staff, promote change, ensure standards exist as well as raises them, reinforce evidence-based medicine practice, improves our teamwork, and can deliver individually or collectively as a group of health professionals. There are a fundamental differences between a research and clinical audit. Research is a project focusing on discovering new information and exploring the best ways to do things. So the research asks, what is the right thing to do and what is the best way, way to do it? While clinical audits evaluate how well current best practice is being carried out. And the audits ask, are we are doing the right thing and are we doing it in the best way? As regards the aim, we, we show how close is the current practice to best practice with improving healthcare surface and a clinical edit can be carried by a members of multidisciplinary team on practice based ongoing process but never involves an experimental treatment or placebo. However, research aimed to what is the best practice to improve our knowledge and car carried out by specific researchers in theory driven on off project may involve an experimental treatment or placebo. The types we know of clinical edits include national clinical edits and local clinical edits, peer review, critical incident monitoring, patient experience survey, non-audit or quasi audit activities, including a research surface evaluation, patient outcomes program, patient satisfaction inquiries, and formal investigations. The principle of the audit, clinical audit, uh, involves four steps. The first step is preparing for audits. The second, we can select an indicators and assess the criteria and its standard and define a definitions for intervention strategies. The step three is a data collection. Four is a comparison of this data with the standard and develop a corrective of corrective actions. How can prepare the audit? Good preparation is a crucial for the success of that audit project. The key elements are choosing the topic, defining a clear purpose, and providing the necessary organization in terms of the audit staff and resources. We must to differentiate between the editor and the criterion and what is the standard we can use. Editor is a variable that allows us to describe complex phenomena to measure the changes in relation to defined criteria. It can be expressed as an absolute number, percentage, rate, or average. While a criterion is a definable or measurable aspect of health care that describes its equality. In clinical audit, it is a declaration of what should happen on the basis of good practice and it should be evidence-based. The standard is uh, uh, the standard of care to be achieved for a specific criterion, usually expressed as a percentage. It represents the threshold of accessibility. That is the value that defines the upper limit or lower limit. So that the quality of care is considered to be appropriate. The third step is a data collection, and the medical record is the main source of information, but it is often incomplete. 
In this regard, highlighting the inadequacies of data management already in the preliminary phase of data collection, the audit improves the existing information flow. Last step is how to compare this collected data with the standard at the development of corrective action. It is important to note that critical nature of this moment lies in the fact that the professionals involved in the audit process can interpret the audit as an inspection of their clinical activity, thus becoming unconsciously an obstacle to an effective data analysis. So, we first of all chose the topic and assess the reason for their audit with good data collection, data analysis, we can with implementation changes and re-evaluate the review according to standard and to try to change the standard to get a clear and uh, non-costy evidence-based uh, results. This is an audit cycle. So, the criteria of effective clinical audit is the problem to be audited has an important impact in the form of cost, resource, or risk. And there, are, there is some strong scientific evidence base according to guidelines and systematic review. The improvement made on the subject in questions can be easily evaluated and source of important uh, clinical and organizational consequences. Measure an outcome or a process against well-defined standard set on the principle of evidence-based medicine in order to identify the changes needed to improve the quality of care. Contents include what is the story or background, literature review, the criteria and the standard as we said before, what is the methods and protocol will be put on, review our results after data collection and analysis, recommendation for changes, or recommendation for further audits. There are several factors that facilitate and barriers uh, for effective clinical audits. The facilitating factors are a clarity of design with good data collection, good planning, organization support, dedicated staff, and collective analysis of results, how, uh, while the obstacles uh, 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 including not clear objective and the planning, lack of resources and heavy overworked load, lack of clarity of methods, lack of organizational support, and willingness to change. Other topics for nephrology. First of all, we have a team performance and workload. This team include team for chronic kidney disease, Team day unit, which is now to be arranged. Transplant nurse specialist team also be arranged. Dialysis access team to be arranged. Conservative management also to be arranged. However, we have a transplanted waiting list management and active on list for suspicions from the list or patient waiting to placed on waiting list. This uh, journals of World Journal of Nephrology, the first journal uh, which uh, uh, explained uh, what is the importance of clinical edits as a valuable tool to improve quality of care in nephrology. And then medical literature over several studies on audits conducted in the field of clinical nephrology, especially in patients on homodialysis. The reported studies have evaluated different aspects of organizational management and clinical research, such as problems associated with late referral, problems of vascular access, management of hypertension, anemia, uh, bone mineral disease uh, of, high, of patient with dialysis, and a careful analysis of these studies showed that the research has been mainly 
focused in comparison between data collected from several case studies and indications of the guidelines. In the field of medical nephrology and the transplant applicable for um, uh, nephrology, uh, there are m multiple audits prescribing an antimicrobial prescription, venous thrombo, embolism, prophylaxis, serious infection like mesocellin, sensitive or resistive, staphylococci aureus infection and cholesteridium difficile, Mandatory training uptake, including MSCA dementia awareness, is still to be arranged. There are general topics as a management of uh, evaluating manage, uh, uh, diseases, including uh, affecting uh, a patient on chronic renal disease, easier on dialysis or not, like dyslipidemia, and evaluates the opportunities of a statin prescription anemia, hypertension, and implementation of lifestyle changes. The example of well audit, conducted audit, uh, done by Australian group at 2015, uh, aimed to, uh, to assess the effect of multidisciplinary intervention on choose of dialysis vascular access, aiming at reducing the use of central venous catheter. Basing on the difficulties identified, the audit team developed a specific interventional strategies like promotion of educational skill, facilitating access to operating room, direct nursing involvement, and etc. And after one year of this uh, uh, study, they assess, they reported that there is a significant increase in number of patients starting dialysis with arteriovenous fistula. Another study done uh, on 177 uh, adult prevalent uh, hemodialysis patient, the intervention regarding the data on factors affecting blood pressure and antihypertensive drugs regimen. They study these drugs at months plus one pre audit and zero time and one and six after the audit. The hypertensive patient were identified and the cases discussed and recommended to improve his blood pressure management. And the interventional includes the reduction of extracellular fluid volume in patients with overload, use of intradialytic ampullatory blood pressure monitoring with bioimpedance, initiative aimed to increase patient compliance and modulation of dialysis sodium content, or temperature. Interestingly, the announcing of edit by itself was associated with decreased prevalence of hypertension with further decreased fluid audit. After being associated with follow-up being is associated with reduced number of drugs assumed, thus proving that clinical audit is effective tool to improve blood pressure control in our hemodialysis patient. Another trial done uh, expressed in Journal of Hemodialysis International at 2016 uh, regarding an audit used for anticoagulation of atrial fibrillation of hemodialysis patient. Uh, up till now, there is a conflict between the use of uh, uh, anti uh, anticoagulation and there is uh, audit is underscore uh, progressive clinical trials about using of antithrombotic uh, agent in those patients. Also, there are an uh, uh, audit for efficacy and safety of use of membrane filtration based plasma exchange for a typical type of hemolytic uremic syndrome. Is it still done? And the National Dialysis, the Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation Journal at 2018 uh, expressed our, uh, their data about the how do primary care doctors and uh, how to manage patients to clinical chronic kidney disease according to National Chronic Kidney Disease. Dear doctor, you your time is up.
in core of nursing and other disciplines applicable for nephrology at Strasbourg. Uh, regarding a hand hygiene, nutritional assessment, commode cleaning, environmental cleaning, thrombopolic assessment, medicine, note keeping and documentation, it will document it for audit uh, cycle. Also, in dialysis uh, part, uh, there are a national renal registry report and the treatment for anemia, chronic kidney disease, metabolic bone disease, vascular access for hemodialysis and uh, vasculitis treatment. It, uh, up till now, it is still uh, to be arranged for central venous catheter uh, audits. In a chapter of transplantation also, there are an annual report uh, there are an audit for live life donor program, ABO and HLA transplantation, acute rejections with its follow up and the treatment. Uh, there are an audit for post diabetes, uh, post transplantation diabetes and bone mineral disease, and uh, uh, arrange it for uh, C uh, CMV prophylaxis and the treatment. And there are uh, the, the protocol for immunosuppression had been finalized. However, there are topics should be considered for regular topics up to now not, not subjected to edit, like mortality and morbidity review. Mortality and morbidity review for individual dialysis, dialysis unit in new transplant. A case review for serious infections and incidents, mortality of all patients or renal replacement therapy, and the recording a cause of death. Dear doctor, your time is up. Dear doctor, your time is up. And in the era of acute renal disease, is still to be arranged, and there is a vulvar lab with audits. Uh, home messages, a clinical audit allows to be effectively comparing the theoretical standard with daily clinical practice, providing suggestions to improve quality of care, understanding of clinical audit, and promoting its systematic application, which nationally or locally is becoming central part of expertise of each health uh, care providing. Audit methodology could be potentially extended to several issues in the setting of clinical nephrology and uh, and transplanted. This is a GCI for hospitals, and this is a Egyptian hospital aggregation program standard uh, uh, since 2005. And our recommendation to be there is an internal clinical audits which had in every healthcare facility with clear job description, and it is necessary to have an external audit had by Ministry of Health should revise and mentor the actions of internal edos and help improvement on correction uh, and corrective actions which, has, which are suggested. Thanks.